In this video lecture, I am going to discuss about how to get column names from a table in Microsoft SQL Server. So let's see the queries. So writing here select a statement as star from and this place is going to use here information schema. If I press start here you can see column domain uses column privilege and column or you can get this place. So use the columns thereafter here let's use the where clause where clause and uh, we need to use here table name so table name we need to use okay so here you can see this is the or table is percent there so we can give uh, any table name this place is so if I run this query first okay Select a start from information schema. Now you can see table name from this place. You can get there. Okay. So I want to display the country's table columns. So for this one, inside the single quote, write their countries. Countries and close by the single quote. If I run, then here you can see total columns is now three country ID, country name and here this is an id and order is there this is the order position that's percent there or if you want then you can select uh, any different uh, uh, tables or there so you can see this all column percent or there inside the table so let's use so uh, this time employees employees table going to check the all columns so if i run then you can see here table name is the employees total column is now 11 and this is here the columns this is the order position first position is now employee id second is first name third is last name like this just continue and there you can see the data tab and this place you can see here character octet length length is there on the character and since this is a character format here is the number so this employee is the number format so this is now six character is not to uh, this is employee is the number type so this here character octet is null there okay so this is the most uh, simplest way we can get here the columns name from the table now this in place of uh, writing uh, a star you can use your table or name thereafter write your column name so c o l u m n column name so only going to select the two columns there table name and the column names so here you can see table names that's present there and uh, employees and here column is there this and total is now you can see till 11 is there so total 11 columns that present inside the employees table so this is the way we can get the name of name of columns from a table in microsoft sql server so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now this video is over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you